वेलकम टू न्यूज लॉन्ड्री इंटरव्यूज टूडे वी हैव विद दस मरियम अलवी श्रीनिवासन जैन एंड सुप्रिया शर्मा journalists and authors of a new book called Love Jihad and Other Fictions Somebody tweeted to me saying like about the book that this is like the Lashkar-e-Toiba writing a book about how they have no involvement in the 2611 attacks <laughs> right so <laughs> lies go viral how do you make truth viral hmm. because truth is not sexy it's not exciting can't be possible that three journalists come together and there's no <laughs> arguments <laughs> Gosh, la la la. La la. <laughs> <laughs> you before we started recording the show you were saying you were pregnant through the working of this book. So we started working on the book around May uh, April May June in 2022. Uh end of 2022 I found out I was pregnant. And the journey after that I think more than me I think it got quite overwhelming for my husband and my mother. I remember when Vasu told me that this is the concept this is how we're going to go about it I was like great guys go for it like this book needs to be out soon. I thought that having a book like this out would be really useful because the book stands a better chance of laying out the facts in a calm dispassionate voice. At a book launch someone I think Shashi Tharoor suggested turn your entire book into WhatsApp forwards. <laughs> because we're fighting this battle on WhatsApp. <laughs> So a book with four chapters the first one tackles love jihad the second one population jihad then there's a chapter on forced conversion and my favorite is on muslim appeasement because i think the data is really startling and i was also coming into this book project partly because of that guilt that as a journalist i've simply not done enough to push back against these falsehoods and so i thought this book project would allow me to do my little bit something about love jihad which seemed extraordinarily cruel like the idea that you're going to criminalize something which is uh, such a fragile aspect of our society and we've actually pointed this out in the book that mm. such data as exists points out that interfaith marriages are only 2% of 6. all marriages yeah. and yet you have this theory which is seeking to to essentially turn it into a criminal act and it's rupturing the lives of so many young couples a lot of these cases get written about in the media um not in a complete way like the fact that there was this order saying that there is a con- organized conspiracy called love jihad has been endlessly regurgitated even by the media but the fact that the co- court also said that the case doesn't stand women are completely denied agency here like women cannot choose a partner for themselves women are abla nari will always be abla nari they don't know any better they can easily be brainwashed this kind of infantilization of women but this paternalistic attitude is not just there among the hindu right it's there even in the higher judiciary which is why there are so many orders where the court even when young women like college educated young women are saying they want to go with their partners they are being sent to their parents homes mm. and then of course they're coming under immense family pressure and you know that then going to later appear in court and say that yes they were coerced into marriage you know you start off with modi's speech uh, in uttar pradesh where he says that before the elections that agar eid mein diwali uh, light aati hai to diwali pe bhi aani chahiye <laughs> and you guys have very cleverly looked at data on electricity demand in samajwadi party you know during their reign and then during the bjp's time and you come up with this really interesting uh, graph that basically shows that we don't want this to be a book about opinions right like it's not that we think love jihad doesn't exist or we think that these theories are this thing i mean what we think our op- opinions were kept aside what we wanted to do was a very um fact based uh rebuttal of all these claims so that nobody can turn around and say nahi nahi ye nahi hai but because we have the facts to back that up we as journalists frankly it's not really our business to change public opinion right we are shining a light we are holding a mirror we have limited resources these are political fictions the counter has to be political <laughs>